und herzlich willkommen. You're going German? It is episode 77 of Trusty Hogs. No, see, I did Hello. switch a room just oh, to try and show off. Deep. Do it in Irish. Do it in Irish. Episode 77. It's so exciting. Oh, my God. Helen was just mocking my outfit. No, I wasn't. Yes, what did you say when okay. I came in? What did you say? You put a little bandana around your neck and it's just sort of like, just in case I didn't know you were gay, but uh, they don't, they know. It just feels, okay. Whoopsie daisy. A, it's an audio <laughs> medium, and B, for anyone who's listening, I'm sorry. Catherine put a little neckerchief around Did her I neck. Did my homosexual girlfriend buy me the little neckerchief? Yes. yes. Am I wearing it with a denim shirt? Yes. But don't I look like a cute cowgirl? Let's go lick puss in the fucking Wild West, oh, baby. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> Second of all, I thought it was like You a would woman. not. I cannot see you in the Wild Wild West. I cannot. I think I'd make a good bar wench. Yeah, bar wench, 100%. Yeah. But not outside with the horses and the dung and the shootings. No, I could, I think I could like, I think I could be for like killing a misbehaving husband. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, I don't, I think I'd like only shoot one man, but it would be significant. You'd have a lot of reason. <laughs> As if there's an insignificant man I could kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have had it up to here. Had it up to here. Through the fog, step Trusty hogs, yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them, or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Sometimes I feel like we bring feminism backwards, as you say. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Neither of us are doing a really good job for feminism. Like equal pay is getting further and further away the more we chat. Yeah, I do think I should make more. That's true. I think. Andrew, can we pay me more than Helen? Can, uh, what? Uh, uh, we already do. Oh great. Okay, good. Catherine gets more than I do. It's just based on no, workload. No. I spend so much more. <laughs> <laughs> I need more. We're putting some of yours away, actually. <laughs> I would genuinely that. appreciate yeah. that if you were Put it in a little trust fund. Yes. <gasps> trust. Trusty fund! Oh. Trusty fundy! I so need a trusty fundy. We actually should do that, Andrew. She's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. We should do Do you remember it. that age when, like, so you like you become aware of trust funds because it's on, like, so many, like, American TV shows? Like, oh, he's got a trust but fund. But only Americans have trust funds, right? That's not a thing. I think so. I think it's just an American thing. But then that realisation of, Are like... We so far from wealth that we're like, there's no way they have this in Britain, right? <laughs> I think it's just inheritance here, isn't it? We just call it differently. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can no, you can have a, you can set up a trust fund in the UK, but I think it's, it's, it's slightly different. And they get it when they turn, like, 21 if they've done certain things, right? Like, if they... So, like, in America, they're going, like if you've got a degree mm. then you can have your trust fund when you're 21 and then they just get given like loads of money um, um, um yeah sort of you set, set up a child's trust fund although i think they have stopped that in the uk so only children born between a certain years can get the trust fund and then otherwise a trust fund is like to withhold money for people so like eh? if you oh no so like if somebody's um on benefits and they receive a large inheritance yeah then they would all their benefits would get cut off until they spent through their inheritance but you can put it in a trust oh. fund and um a, they can apply for like spending money or to buy certain things without he getting knows benefits. so like, much sometimes he's such a nerd he's so smart though i need to know when stuff I, like um, that so if <laughs> i for some reason inherit loads of money i need to spaff it immediately no offense, but no, from no. where but like, I don't know. Let's say, let's say, let's say my dad <laughs> has a load of money that is hidden from all of us. That seems so unlikely. Don't, but you know that me and my cousins have a theory he's that there has to be family wealth. He's secretly rich. Have we talked about this before? Like, no. I am so sure. So my grandfather, the one that invented Zvirax. Yeah. And obviously the story is that like, oh, but he did it when he was working for a company. So the patent isn't his. And like, he did, like, it all went. To be fair, you are so bad with money. I would hide the family wealth from you. So it's like, but, but from all of us, from all of the cousins on the Bauer side, we're like... I don't think that's a way to live, to hope that there's secret money. But they're all such like, the Bauer men are all like, they all live in like, my dad lives in like a, a rented little flat and Uncle Jerry lives in like a really dilapidated house in Didcot and he's got a, he collects his, he doesn't pay for water, he just collects it in a bath on the roof and filters what? it himself. Like, no joke. Like, and we're like, there has to be 
something because I, I don't think my dad did, but I think his brothers went to private schools like back in the day. Like, well, like there's something going on there. But the theory is that my grandfather spaffed it all mm. on sex workers. But like, <laughs> he had a really big house in St. John's Wood. But the thing is, it was full of pictures of him with different sex workers. Like he's like there, like 86, like really skinny and like just gross. And then just like all these gorgeous young girls. And it's like, whoa! Apart from his girlfriend who was 82, who loved a nipple clamp. Shout out to Anne. Rest in peace. Maybe. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that was you understand a lot of information for me that to process. That was a lot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like then it's like so then so we had a house in St. John's Wood and my dad and mum used to make these anecdotes that he was like he was that like really like gross old man, like full of syphilis, who would like go around and do all his food shopping at Harrods Food Hall, like in a in a in sweatpants. Hell so it's like there's what, money there. No, what you're telling me is that the money's gone, babe. The money was really spent. Do you think it was all gone? It sounds... I don't think people are collecting water on their roofs because they have <laughs> more. I they, think he is. They want to. Because we also, like, Jerry is, like... My uncle Jerry is a very intelligent man. He was the one that invented or, like, designed for the French team the metal shield that went over Chernobyl, over the power station. Like, he's, Whoa. like, a nuclear physicist. Whoa. Like, he's incredibly, like... Advance. I will say I I do know of rich people like this as well who are like water on the roof. Andrew, why are you feeding this? I, I could no, own true. all of you no, one day. Is, the point is that even if the money exists, I don't think it's smart for you to live like it does because one, it might not be. Yeah, given no, it to might. You. Not. Yeah. <gasps> Two. Uh, it why? might not exist. Three. Even if you get it, I think you'll make terrible choices. <laughs> That's so true. Or this might be a beautiful opportunity for you to learn that if it, it and I don't think it does, but if it does, how to, you know, exist with money. Like yeah, maybe yeah. you could try it by like keeping some of your money. No, I have. I cancelled my Audible subscription. So <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we Steps. are a podcast. <laughs> Steps are being made in the right direction. You save what, <laughs> like six pounds a month. Nine ninety nine. Wow, hell. Nine ninety nine a month. Gonna do it. That's the big. I had a real sweet grandparent moment the other day. Um, I was gigging in Farnham and I was on Google Maps looking at the venue and I was like, my grandparents used to live in Farnham and I went on Google Maps Street View and like looked at where they lived and then I was trying to find, because they like moved to a house like in the last couple of years of their yeah. life and we went to every Sunday but the one that I went to every year growing up, like I, know, I can see the house so clearly in my head yeah. like we went there all the times so we live so close and I could not remember the name of the street and you know when you're like pouring over like Google Maps desperately trying to find this street and I was like if I see it I'll remember the name okay. I do this all the time I go down memory lane on Google Maps and like walk a route I used to walk to work but it's not no, 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 it's not called Memory Lane, you silly little dick. Um, so <laughs> fucking hell. No, baby, that's why we, my family's joking. got the money. Oh that's God. why my family's got generational wealth, bitch. Um, but do you ever do that? Just like go like, oh, I remember like this period of my life when I was like really down and I was like living here and I'd have to like commute every morning at 5 a.m. So I would like do the commute on Google Maps, like pressing the forward button. I lived in the same, well, my parents lived in the same home since I was three. No, but like my parents are basically the same. But like like grandparents' houses or like friends' houses from when you were little. I remember where my granddad lived. But like oh, so I moved and I wanted to see the old house and see if I recognised the outside. My granddad lived on the same street on a terraced road in oh, Cork yeah. um, for his whole life, and uh, I got my cousin who now lives in the same house. Yeah, no way. Yeah, for my dad's. 60th to go around the entire village because it was during COVID and take pictures of everywhere significant. And she did such a good job. Oh, that's um, so nice, and Catherine. And I made it into an album for my dad. And I actually have a picture of the um, creamery in my dad's village because he was a... What's a creamery? Uh, it's where they turn milk into, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, into pasteurized milk and cream and butter. But my grandfather was a creamery farmer, <gasps> so a dairy farmer. So um, I have a picture of that over my desk. That's so fucking lush. So I guess I am as sentimental, except I am kind of more specific, I suppose. Than that I act. No, but I think that, like, <laughs> I still think it's specific. Like, you do want to, like, see these places. Yeah. Like, you know those like, TV shows and then like, people go back to, like, where they grew up and they sort of go in and have a look around. And it's yeah. like, I even have that for, like, my family home, which, like, my mum only moved out of. So you're going home to your parents' house and they're like, hey, how are you? And you're like, who do I think? I am. <laughs> and they're like, Helen, tea's ready. You're like, ah, oh, yes, tea. The, the, the road My I grew up was a lover of tea. <laughs> the road I grew up on 
out on Fleet. Like I never go there anymore. I never go past yeah. it. Like even if I do go to Fleet, my mom is completely the other side of it. And it's like, oh my god! Like that was the entire, basically the entire of my childhood. It was the world. It like was the world. it was everything. And like so many things happen in that house. And it's like I know that they've done it up. My mum's mentioned because she just drove past everyone again. She's like, they've done it up. They've done it up. Uh, I'm like, I want to see it. I want to. I, in ten years' time, I'd love to be able to knock on the door and be like, can I have a look around? Well, I would say go on the actual show. Who do you think you are? But you I can't. Human need Germans in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. anyone no with my world. family you, unless you I just should. did my mum's side. Ah, oh, that'd be tricky. Even though. then, you still It'd got to address. So, <laughs> yeah, to address. And also, let's talk away from the fact that like your mom's side is probably like. Another woman who thought she was a witch. Another woman who thought she was a witch. <laughs> and then we find out that we were the ones, we weren't actually witches, we were the fucking women going, it's her! Drowner! It's, 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 it's Goody Bohar, Goody Bohar! I saw her fraternising with the devil in the pond! <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean another lesbian woman? Yes! Yes! I saw them licking each other out! It's, it's goodies, it's the goodies! Aren't they all called goodies something? Wow. <laughs> wow, you, you, you double down and I respect the hell out of it. I really <laughs>how much did you want to be part of an acting dynasty when you were younger are you kidding it was i mean also i was just like not no actually that's not true i didn't want to be part of an acting dynasty what i wanted to be and what i believed would happen here we go was to be discovered <gasps> that it wasn't about dynastic i totally know that feeling I, when <laughs> when parent trap came out and i wasn't in it <laughs> i was like this might not happen for me that is my move. That was, <laughs> if you were going to find me on the street, it's for this. And then wow. Harry Potter was going to be put into a movie. And I was like, I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I'll be Hermione. I'll be Hermione. <laughs> or at the worst, Ginny. <laughs> Didn't happen. How many, Didn't happen. Like, how well, many well, now young women that. in Ireland and Britain were walking around genuinely believing that? And when the that. Harry Potter films were announced, how many of us were going like, well, that's me sorted Not then. Just walking around I guess I better them. start saying goodbye to my schoolmate. I was <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> walking around <laughs> like swishing, being like, oh, I want... No! I, I wonder if... I guess I could do a wand like this if anyone's interested. Oh, my God. Yeah, I could not believe when Parrot talked about it. I remember sitting for the first 20 minutes. I eventually oh. was able to enjoy it, but for the first 20 minutes, I remember being like, what? They're both... I could have done this. She's like, I could, this, this is my role. I love how you went straight for Hollywood eight, as well. Maybe. Like, you did not... I was watching CBBC going like, I'd fucking kill on that. No, no, like, no. I was on the big screen as far as I was. I was like, I, this is crazy. This is wild. Surely somebody walked by me. That's mad. And did you see yeah. that the woman who plays Chessie in Parent Trap took Meredith as a date to an award ceremony recently? The woman no, who plays Meredith Blake. Phenomenal. They're still friends. That's so cute. I know, it really warmed oh, my heart. That's so nice. That could have been me. Anyway, it's Surely fine. they'll be remaking Parent Trap soon. That feels like something that's going to be like coming back into our lives a lot. Yeah, and fucking Lindsay Lohan will get the mom part too now, the stepmom part. And to be honest with you, I'll fucking love it for I her. fucking she'd hope be phenomenal. so. My I God, hope so. What's sad is that she's already too old to play Meredith Blake because Meredith was like 22. Oh, well. <laughs> so well, mad, isn't it? Really <laughs> tragic. That's pretty really tragic. Um, well, the, enough about the things you've been watching. Oh, no, can I just tell you about Discovered really quickly? Okay, but I want to tell you about what I've been watching and you're not oh. going to be happy about it, but I I think it's great. Andrew, get your Google ready. <laughs> 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 get ready for some absolutely mad names Actually, coming at you. Well, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. What have you been watching? Full swing. Has anyone watching the golf documentary on... <gasps> no, but you texted me yeah, saying well, you watched it. It's so good. Is it? Actually, it's so because I heard two guys talking about it on the bus, and I was like, "I'm all right." It's a real interesting time in golf. <laughs> no, it really no because guys, this cannot no, be our because... podcast now. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. It's a really interesting time in golf. No, but Helen, <laughs> listen to me, because there's a real ethics dilemma in golf uh, at the minute. Why? Yeah, because whilst generally all the um, golfers compete on what's called the PGA Tour, yeah, for the first time ever, there's a competitive competition and, and like league essentially being set up by the Saudis called the Live Tournament and they are offering massive, massive, massive fees. So in golf, I didn't know this, usually like 180 lads show up on a Thursday. Yeah. If you're not in the top 70, you don't get paid. You don't get to, you don't get to compete. And then you only they have a purse that's split between the, like the top ranked people in the competition. So you can go and golf and, and not get paid, right? So you don't make any money if you don't make it. Oh, f- You don't make what's called the cut, which I think is a really interesting element that I kind of find enjoyable and then I mean 
it's so interesting. And then... Wait, so their club doesn't sponsor them to go to no. a... No, so you show up and if you don't make the cut, you don't get paid that weekend. Ouch. I know. Fascinating. So, Liv is offering players money just to play, but like hu- millions, like mi- astronomical fees, like fees to play that are higher than any of the winning fees in golf. Oh my God. So everyone was like, no one's going to go. This is obviously dirty money. This is Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. It's also going to take away from the PGA Tour and the PGA Tour say, if you play for them, you're banned from our competitions. And they were like, no one's going to, no one's going to do it. Oh my God. People went, it's split the PGA Tour. It's fascinating. Like 17 significant players have gone. <gasps> and when they got the six in the world guy, Chris Smith, maybe? As if I know. You don't know. He's an Aussie with a mullet. They were like, <laughs> yes. Oh, I love a mullet playing golfer. That feels but unique. What's fascinating is all the guys who were like, don't fucking do it. Like Rory McElroy and Tiger and people were like, that's not worth it. And also like, let's keep the legacy of golf not the complicated. Less- <laughs> Yes, Helen. The Hawker, legacy of one golf. One episode of a documentary. Just eight episodes, actually. Fuck eight. It. I finished it. Oh my god! <laughs> but the only ones who are gone are basically just like all the Americans going. I don't really see the issue. I'm just, I'm just a dad looking after my family. That's and then thing you can, you can always argue sign, your kids. The dollar, yeah. no, all, and their wives are going like, he would never make a bad decision for his kids. And you're like, <sighs> you just want the $75 million he's going to get. What That's are you talking so about? so fucking dodgy. And truly so funny. But yeah, really interesting time. But that's Very like, that comes up like, so like, it's dirty money. But it's like, where does it come from? Like that amount? Is it oil? Well, it's from... A regime that's incredibly cruel to its people. Fucking hell. In the same way that it was like, are we have why are we having the World Cup? Yeah, time? yeah, yeah, yeah. Except it's like, I am now work for them. Have you ever got a gig in Dubai? No. Have you ever been offered one? Yeah. And you said no? I tend to only try to gig in places where I feel like it's legal for me to be a person. That yeah, I'm that's a really good choice, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been asked yeah. to, but I have no desire to go. Yeah, I don't want their money. No one whatsoever. Like, the only time I've been there is like going through like an airport. Do you know what I mean? Like that changeover. And even then, like, it's just so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, and trying to be like, respect for the culture, but like, this is for women, this is for men. And sort of the separation and like the binary lines of it. Like, I'm aware that it's a different culture than I'm growing up in, but it's still like, oh, like, what is this? I know. It's also like, if we did get Also, there- doesn't Dubai look so boring? I think yeah. it looks, it so, looks so boring. So dull. I think, like, I'm so- and everyone's like, it's amazing. And I'm like, I think it's just hotels and bars with really cunty people. And also, I don't suntan, so it's like, I can't go outside <laughs> and I can't fuck who I want. But have you Why met people who lived there? in Dubai? It's terrible. What the fuck? I know. So, they're the so worst. Boring. So boring. Like yeah. there's nothing I would, what would we talk yeah. about? I, I don't know. Like going for a nice <laughs> cocktail? That's the whole conversation. Like, there's no culture. There's no history there. I mean, I'm sure there's history, but there's no, but the, the certain- Not in Dubai. It's at May. They manufacture it. There's but, nothing old. It's more that you can't experience any culture anyway because it's such a division like it's basically like going on a get to a gated community for a holiday like expats and holiday makers if they're drinking are not experiencing the culture they're not like it's not like anyway no thanks i'm not going Fucking. we actually have eight um saudi arabian listeners listeners no we don't uh, according to this this data map i have and in front if of me you want to donate to the patreon <laughs> we will take your dirty money <laughs> Then thank you so and much. Let us know if you're okay. Let us know if you're okay. My, my issue isn't with Saudi people. My issue is with their government. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Sorry, so let us know, know if you're okay. Can I clarify? Oh, no, Helen, what are you going to do if they say oh, they're not? Also, what are you going to do? I'm going to come get you. I, re- I realize I realize Dubai's actually in the UAE, um, which is we have 27 listeners in the UAE. Oh hi. We but think you've is, made a great choice are, living in Dubai. Those are Irish women, right? Those are Irish women teaching out there uh, uh, with no, this, not this paying tax for the world, you to save their houses, it's and I get just it. All Irish expats, yeah. Yeah, um, I get it. I used to live with a lovely Irish girl called Kira, who used to work in Oman and teach. That's the thing is, but the thing is, like in Ireland, you can't afford a house unless like you're given money from your parents. So being offered a like teaching job in Dubai for a couple of years so that then you can come back and oh, I don't know. Also it means oh, that you can win the, you can um if you move um to the Middle East and you're Irish, you can win the rose a lot quicker. Because that's, that's what Jill did. True. She run the the Rose of Oman because there was like two entrants. Oh my God. Do you want to explain Lord. what the Rose is to any listeners? Oh, for the Rose of Tralee. Yeah. The Rose of Tralee is sort of a it's sad... It's mad. Sort of a sad <laughs> beauty contest. No disrespect to my people. Um, but it's not a beauty contest. But basically all the lovely girls go down to Tralee 
<laughs> and you get representatives from each town in Ireland. And each, you can have a Rose and, of London. And from San Diego, like all over the place, right? <laughs> there is a Rose of London. People compete to be the Rose to represent their area, country, place, city, whatever it might be. <laughs> and they all show up at the Rose of Chile and, um, and a man brings them on and says... Now there, how are you then, love? What's your name? And she'll say, I'm Jill. I'm the Rose of Oman. <laughs> oh, lovely. Great. So, Jill, uh, what's your special talent, Jill? And then and Jill, Jill's from the countryside of Cork. So, yeah, Jill will be like, something mental. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Then they do it all. And then some, um, it was a huge talk when a lesbian won a couple of years ago. Wait, that's great. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, lesbian won. I saw her in a in county bar in Dublin and I was like, oh my God. This it's is the lovely. Rose. It's the lesbian Rose. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, listen, we're now not going to be able to do gigs in Dubai. You know that, right? We've cut yeah. our noses despite our morals. I honestly, I <laughs> I think it's fine. There are places we'd like to gig, though. Um, oh, yes, so where should we go? Obviously, America. I think we'd thrive in San Francisco. I've heard a lot of good things. I'd like to go to Canada. Um, where else do you want to gig? Yeah, I'd love to gig back in Montreal. I'd love to go to San Francisco. Oh, Spain. I'd love to do Two New of us York. in Spain, Spain would be would lovely. Be so nice. That would be really nice. So nice. Um, apparently, there's a bunch of comics who did um, gigs at the South African Festival. That sounded amazing. Really? Yeah, that was really good. We'll go to South Africa together, please. Um, oh, my God. It would be like that episode. I mean, um, we're not allowed when... to gig in countries that take issue with the government in, then I probably should stop gigging in the EU. In case. <laughs> yes, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> like what's the moral yeah, ground yeah, yeah, of yeah, kicking yeah, in yeah, England yeah. at the moment <laughs> or Portugal they've gone mad haven't they oh have they apparently yeah you're going to have to give me more information about okay that. I've just had they've gone mad from my <laughs> friend Eddie <laughs> my friend Eddie because he's half Portuguese he said that like um, so there's a really good donut shop near where I live that does like mm. really good dolce de leche donuts it's mm. a Portuguese place oh. but they put up a sticker That's in their amazing. window which apparently is like the UKIP party of Portugal and he's like no. we need to stop going there and I was like no so but the donut we can't get the Dubai money we can't get the dolce de leche what can we do? where can can we Poor go? Us. Poor us. <laughs> we really are the oppressed in all these situations. Yeah. Honestly, that was like the best political corner we've it ever makes done. I'm so anxious when we talk politics, Helen. I think why we're cancelled because we're not very smart. But we're talking about it. We're discussing it. It's good but we're for not, people. But we don't have any information. Oh my god! How about this for fucking politics or Helen's history we corner? Have been millionaire golfers, and you made it complicated. It's not complicated. Do you want to hear this? Yeah. Do, you, do you know what's complicated? Fucking Apollo 13 landing back in the 70s. Now that was fucking mental. Do you know about this, Andrew? Are we having history uh, corner? I have, yes, I have. Thing is, I can't really do the full history corner because you know when you've got a podcast you're really interested in to, but for some reason you always fall asleep at the same point. I have no idea if they made it back or not. <laughs> I honestly don't. And I was going to Google it. Do you want me to tell you? No, I don't want to know. I was going to Google it. It's a short history of. And I I honestly, so and I'm really attached to these of. guys. We I have no idea. I can't tell you. You mustn't. You mustn't. No one must. Tweet. Well, I'll, I'd have listened by then. I am so invested in something I know nothing about. Because So at the moment, the point I basically. I, I can't. With you. What I get up to. What, so it's it's a short history of Apollo 13 released on the 7th of February 2020. 22. I only get to like 41 minutes. Can I make a suggestion? First of all, that's a crazy long history. But second of all, would you think about starting in the middle? Yeah, you know, I would. Yeah, now I, I would. Should. I've learned my lesson. I think you should. So I basically keep on getting stuck at the point. So basically, if anyone who doesn't know, Apollo 13, spaceship -y, And um, it go into spacey. And it's doing, it's like... Um, it's stuff up there, like going around. Whoa. And then um, they get like a, a warning light. And basically because of the way the oxygenization works, they have to carry a tank of liquid oxygen on all spaceships that then tons oxygen. But because it's so oxygenized, um, there was a spark that went off and obviously immediately set a massive fire in the oxygen tank, which meant they lost it and the side of this but they were in deep space at this point so they couldn't see outside of the ship so they were just guessing talking to people on the ground being like we think this is what happened we don't know so they need to get them back home immediately but the heat shield needs the cooling system so they're like really worried so they're in orbit they've basically been drinking they've had no electricity on they've been drinking basically no water they've had no food because they need to reserve everything they can't cook anything like are you telling me you get to the most suspenseful part yep. of a history and then my mind goes I can't take the stress of this and immediately go no way no joke so they are in orbit and they're about to see if they can make it through the atmosphere at the right timing for to not to burn up mm -hmm. to get through and i've passed out like three times now 
or been listening on a bus and just daydreamed. It's fair, like the stress makes me black out. Wow, to be fair, it's not the same. <gasps> but I did go to see Gravity with my friend Karen in the cinema and we were yeah. sitting like two rows from the Who's front. in Gravity? Um, it's I know, but I want to sing. But look, well done. Thank you. I remembered. I remembered. Um, and... I fell asleep about five minutes in, which means when I woke up an hour later, <laughs> I was like, where's George? And Karen was like, you've been asleep that long? I was like, oh my God, what, what happened? Mean? Where was he? He dies in like minute six of the film. No! Yeah. She, oh, sorry, spoilers. But she was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, oh, I don't know. What, oh my God. Do you know what happened in Apollo 13 though? Yes. Andrew, do you know? Yes. It's okay. a very famous film. You know what? Well. Actually, I yeah. want to know. Andrew, tell her. Okay. But yeah, also, no, oh my God. But also, I, no, I don't think, actually, no, don't tell her because I don't, No, I want to know, I want not, to know. No, no, I'm not telling you. Can I tell you why I'm not telling you? Uh, yeah. Because I think you're going to be furious when you're told and I would like the anger directed at not me. Well, should I, so I have to tell Helen. I don't think we should tell you. I think you should tell no. her. No, what, what I think happens, I'll tell you what I think happens. Okay. I think they make it back, uh, but it's a crash landing and they die on the landing. Do, or do I say here? Are you definite you want to know? Is I, like, I'm definite is I want like to know. like when Stu Goldsmith gave you that dead leg and then you were like, ah! No, this is different. Okay. I want to know. No, they all lived. Thank God. Why would there be a movie about it if they all died? Thank God. Well, I don't know about the movie. Yeah, but it's like, you know it's an American movie. Oh my God. And did they landed absolutely fine and it was all okay? I mean, it was a very rocky kind of tense landing, but they did make it back all right, yes. Holy shit, because this thing with space travel, it's so touch Imagine and go. Imagine Andrew's lying. Touch and go. It's touch so go. touch and go with space travel. <laughs> you really don't know where you stand with it. Imagine if Andrew's lying. Don't, you're not lying, are you? <laughs> I would, would I do Imagine if Andrew's that? like, no. they all made it, and then it's like, and they all died. <laughs> oh, honestly, that race to space thing was mad when the Russians and the Americans were both trying to get we to space. We know what the, the space race I'm like, But I'm, like, I'm just finding out now. And someone wrote a lovely what YouTube comment saying, like, thank now. you to Catherine to keeping on track, but thank you for Helen that proving that everyone learns at their own pace. And that's what I'm doing, okay? Hey, you know what I am learning loads about? <laughs> it, oh, learning loads from? Here we go. Apart Golf. No, no, sorry. <laughs> I mean, yes. And I did enjoy it, although I'd like to see the women's PGA Tour. Thank you. Um, oh, there isn't one, is there? Surely there is. What about our boobies? How are we going to hit that? Oh, well, some it's just small boobied women could play. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys deserve to thrive as well. I get it. I assume, no offence, <laughs> I assume it's all my kind playing golf. I... I I would have. I would have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, one so me, want, one me it. running around so as the caddy, like with the little bag. Don't the worry, I got it, guys. <laughs> the caddies are their friends. The uh, caddies help them figure out the shots. The yeah. caddies will go down on the grass with them and re figure it out. Pick them the right iron. And the caddies only make money <laughs> if they do. Oh my God, it's a risk. It's a real it's risk. It's a risk, baby. It's a real risk. It's like hitching your start to a friend seems like a crazy call. <laughs> And yet here we are. I know. I'd still be your caddy. I would bank on you 100%. That's kind. I'd be your caddy. That's kind. And um, I'd have fun little animal heads on each of them. I think you'd be really good at golf, Catherine. Oh. No, you'd have the patience for it. Is that a it. burn? No, or a, I, compliment? a compliment. A compliment. I do love walking. I like stuff that you have to practice and that there's stats about. There's a British player who does all of his own, like writes down every single shot and has done since he was seven. Fitzpatrick, <sighs> fascinating. Mm. I think it's Fitzpatrick. I think pretty sure it is. Oh my God. I, can you feel our friendship ending? <laughs> can you okay, feel sorry, our friendship sorry, ending? Sorry. I also watched the tennis one. Right, you know what? Let's have our guest. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to both Wait, of us. You, you know what? The why? end of a friendship. Wait, why do you think I'd be good at golf? Because I'm a lesbian and I'm kind of old and I love walking. No, I just think it's, it's a game that requires a bit of intelligence and a bit of patience. And I think you have all of that. It's I'm not fate. very patient. Although I am friendly. Really? I think still. you are quite. I think if you know where you're heading and you've got a plan, you can be very patient. That's so kind. Mm. Thanks, Andrew. Hello. What a nice Hi, guy. I think you'd be a fantastic caddy. Thank you. Caddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, sm can the caddies smoke? <laughs> yeah, I'll, be, I'll literally just drive around as having fags, like fucking live my dream. <laughs> oi, oi, come on. <laughs> BN, BN. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like. Please, welcome. Oh, it's a sports girl. Oh my God, no, let's talk sports. Guy. It's Maisie, Maisie Adam. Adam.
remember. Welcome, oh, Maisie, Maisie Adam. Adam. What is Adrian? I remember. This is so. <laughs> oh, this is the worst introduction ever. No, no it wasn't. It was. You know those no, no, no moments where you just feel really seen, and you're like, oh, that is. Oh, I bet she's not the only one. Mm. And um, we were like with a group of comics. This is oh, ages ago now. Oh, and you God. went, oh, yeah, Sorry. Helen always does an Instagram story. But whenever I see them come up, I'm like, better put the headphones in for this. It'll be loud. <laughs> <laughs> you never watch a Helen Bauer Instagram reel if you're just on it's the phone. Am I wrong? You're not Am wrong. I Where's wrong? Where's the lie? But then Where's for like the three lie? weeks, I'd be like singing in my room, filming me having a pie. Yeah. And I was Sometimes like, I'll be Maisie's on, pissed I'll off. I'll go on Instagram and clock. I don't have my AirPods with me. And I'll go, I'll save it for later. Yeah, <laughs> that's not for now. Yeah. That's not for yeah. now. That's so fair. But apart from that, you're a really nice person. <laughs> Maisie, what an intro. Trip with us. Both, both trips we've talked about on the podcast, we haven't had your side, Maisie. You went to Finland with me and you went skiing yes. with Helen. Can yeah. we talk about the skiing? Because I can only assume No, that let's well, do was, Finland because skiing is too, it's fresh for me. It was every bit as chaotic. <laughs> um, I think for the viewer as much as the mm-hmm. participant. Mm-hmm. Like just to watch you stress amongst all that was quite... You didn't um, walk. No, you couldn't walk, but also like I feel like the way you dealt with it kind of emotionally was yeah. quite a lot for the group. Oh, really? Yeah. Take it out on everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out is putting it lightly. I would really? say project it <laughs> to other people. Whoa. To the point where we sort of felt like we had to apologise on behalf of... <laughs> oh, we're really, we're really sorry that Tom Horton's arranged for you to come on this amazing trip to stay in a lovely villa. <laughs> And gig. What is it, Helen? Two sets of ten minutes. Yeah. <gasps> Poor for Helen. Of, for a week of free skiing. Poor Helen. And, and the spa would, passes. And you wouldn't learn how to do it. And the spa passes and Wait, all the free food. food. You wouldn't even learn. What no, she wouldn't even. She didn't even. At least Stephen Bailey put a set of skis on. He hated it. He was miserable. He put. He put a set of skis yeah, on. That's, that's he terrified Francis. You went and I. to the spa <laughs> twice. <laughs> Why did you not? Why? <laughs> Why did you take a spot from two people who could have skied? Exactly. In my, in two my rich kids who've been training their whole lives to ski could have had those. It's free such holidays. a bower thing to do. <laughs> Get invited on a ski comedy festival and be like, sure, I'll go take along a spot. and then the whole I'm time. I'm the person for that, and then turn up and oh, moan. Oh, poor little poor Helen. Helen. Oh, my, I'm very chilly. My ankles are cold. I fell over. No, whereas Don't I feel worry. at least Don't you worry. were, you went very kind of. Uh, <sighs> she bought a brand like, new coat. Yeah. I gave it hell, didn't I? I gave yeah. my best. I, did my, I played I've football never, in the snow. You played football in That's the snow. So mad. Even though I only like to watch sports on my television. There was a, a, a section where we had to, like, oh, you've probably spoken about it, but um, go, on, tell go me. into the lake, into a frozen over yes. lake. <laughs> and uh, me, Catherine, and uh, so- Sophie had to do it. Hell. Yeah, the I air feel... was minus twenty one, so the order was colder. Just FYI, it's good for you to do it though for endorphins. <laughs> yeah, you know when you see people like mentally prepare for something and they just sort of emotionally <laughs> shut down. Yes, like we were all making sort of light <laughs> chit chat, being like, "Oh, it's going to be cold. Oh, I wonder how cold." And Catherine was just sort of staring. In the middle the, distance? Like, yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. Like, I've seen I... you do that before. Sometimes like, I'll be coming around yours for a hangout and you answer the door and you sort of go into this autopilot mode of like, make her a tea, make her a coffee and then she'll oh. have two hot drinks and she'll be gone. She stopped replying with words and just sort of sounds. No, be like, yeah. oh, how does that feel? And she'd go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, there was a point at which I was like, I have to do this now or I'm not going to do it. And also, I need to go first. If I watch somebody else go through this torture, I won't have the guts to do it. So I'm just going to go first. And I also, nobody expected right. me to go first. So I thought, fuck it, I'm not just going to straight in there. I was like, I'm going. <sighs> but the second I did decide it, and it was one of those kind of calls where like, you're like, I'm going to meet my ancestors. Like, that's what's going to happen yeah. here. And I took off. It's not funny, coat. Maisie. <laughs> People have died on, in like, Frozen Lakes. I was like, here I go. I off I go. And just as I was about to go into, the, like I'd taken off the coat, this huge coat and this freezing. Were you naked? Like, honestly, like freezing. I was in very, very, very little clothes. So basically. And this producer's just like, yeah, so I wonder where we should film from this. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't reading the room. I was like, I'm taking my coat off for doing it. Do you remember that being like a genuine threat when you were younger? Like people saying like, be careful around the frozen lake and canal. Like there was a canal in our yeah. town. Everyone was like, you got to be careful around it. I don't know a single kid who went under, but we were like, we lived in fear of it. That and quicksand. I've never come across quicksand. It's because of Amy and Little Women. That's what I think it is. Yeah. When Amy goes under and Little Women and then Joe comes oh, and saves her. You're not oh, aware of it. Sister and she deserved to no. drown, but Joe saved her for no. some inexplicable reason. Oh. Haven't you seen it? Haven't you read it? No. What? Oh, it's wow. I'm a feminist because I've not read Little No, but Women. it explains why you're straight. Why? I'm straight and I've read it. But you were always going to be. Maisie was on the line. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, because of the football and the bits and bobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. 
favourite episode yet. I'm so <laughs> happy right now. Week. Imagine me going on with Catherine Bohart, S- Sophie Duca and Olga Cock. What do you think the main thing I've hung was out with the queers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bloody straight. Look bit. how gay you look. <laughs> and you can't retort because then it's a hate crime. <laughs> You would come down with this haircut, with your tra- your fresh trainers on, your often matching tracksuit. The World Cup was on, so I was very excited about that. Yeah, she would carry. What was I meant to wear? It was a cold. I know. What was she meant to wear? And the football was on. Of course, none of us wore a tracksuit, babe. Did you not? No, darling. <laughs> and it was practical for the weather. <laughs> I, I'm with, I, baby, baby girl, I wore a tracksuit when I was skiing. Well, went to the ski slope. You can slope. move freely in the snow. I understand that. I to tell you, Maisie was just like hitting on women and like, offering people arm wrestles. And we were like, she seems gay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many people are you offering on to arm wrestle on the average It's week? obviously yeah. not true. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was totally the going. The fact you believed Maybe it, Helen. You every receptionist and tried to find You her look her. like the kid who would like try and give it to arm wrestle if they weren't wanting to play Knuckles. Do you remember Knuckles? Oh, like a thumb wrestle? Yeah, thumb like a thumb wrestle. You look like you thumb war. I thumb war, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite good at a thumb. I've got very long thumb. thumb. Do you, you well, I've got long thumbs, thumb. too. A hundred percent, yes. Take it seriously, though. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. I, I declare, declare a thumb, thumb four. Five, six, seven. Get it right. Whoa, Come whoa, on, whoa, someone whoa. do your vocal I declare warm a thumb up war. You said thumb four. You Am did I wrong? Indeed, you did indeed play it back, Andrew. He can't do that. Listen. <laughs> one more shot. Give me another take. I was going to about that. Was what the pace that you went in was actually quite cool. Yeah. And then and then you, you blew it. You popped okay. it up. I would right. say that is immediate win for me. But No, we've started. No, Maisie. Are you doing the nails digging into the fingers so the person quits? No. Three, two, one. I do the hide. Yeah. No, no, wait, do the song. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, if, you, if you're happy with these rules, you've got to keep your... Helen, wow. no, you just... Wow. Helen, Helen, forfeit. <laughs> Ow, she scratched my lip. Maisie wins. Oh, my God, like a psychopath. <laughs> your lip shouldn't have been near her hand. <laughs> I thought I'd go for the old bite. Sorry, you can't just have a pop-up, mates, for looking like a lesbian, and then that be something that you've said. Yeah. <laughs> that Helen's lip shouldn't be near my hands. Helen, you tried to bite. You she was she... so violent. Maisie What's wrong with wins. you? Maisie wins. You fucking loser. Helen. <laughs> Helen. Look, for anyone who's just listening, I did just try and hit Maisie, but I stopped myself because um, impulse control is important to me now. Oh bitch. my god, I'm so Fucking sorry. bitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm regretting coming on. <laughs> no, Maisie, no, Maisie, I'm you're thrilled you're dead. here. I'm thrilled you're here. Can I tell you why? Because I keep trying to talk about, to Helen about my new um, interests and she doesn't care. Do you watch um, the golf show on Netflix? The golf? Full swing? Golf show. Yeah, it's a, it's a golf stock. As, as of two hours ago, Catherine's now into golf and I am livid. No, I watched the whole series. And I watched the, the tennis one. Do you watch Formula? Did you watch the Formula One one, Drive to Survive? <sighs> yeah, I've seen that. Okay, well, there they have a tennis one. Yeah. And they have... A, Where's um, this coming golf. from? This sudden. Oh no! Zone. I've always loved sports docs. I don't want to play the sports. sports do- I ah, love sports okay. I've seen most of them. Mm. I thought you might have watched the golf one. No, I don't do golf. No, Thank you, do I. I don't. I don't do Formula One, but I watched the documentary on it. Like it's fascinating. Mm, no, you're not going to get me watching golf docs. Thank you, Maisie. Like, did you watch Sunderland Until I Die? No, no, I've watched the Leeds United one and the Spurs one, but I'm not oh, watching Sunderland wow. Until I Die because Dwight York left Katie Price and refused to acknowledge his son. Facts. Oh, she holds a grudge. Fucking facts. I know. Finally, we've got a sport that crosses over into my world. <laughs> that was awful, wasn't it? Yeah. It was fucking awful. I would awful. watch a documentary because of Dwight York's. Does he play for Sunderland FC? Is that uh, Ian Porterfield's used um, club, isn't it? That's a famous Ian Porterfield one. Who's Ian Porterfield? Famous footballer from back in the Not day. That played for no, Sunderland. Know. Google him. I know I'm correct. Whoa. Thank How you, do you very know? much. Yeah. I went to school what? with his daughter. <laughs> I knew there was I think a... it was Sunderland. I think it was, am I right? I what think you went to school. Again? Ian Porterfield. I think you went to school with somebody who went, my dad plays for Sunderland. Yeah, that's a good shot. <laughs> been spending a whole... Go- <laughs> and when I say school, I mean college. <laughs> I'm just like wandering around like, hello, everyone's dad's famous now. Um, he, yeah, he did. He played for 230 Way. appearances. Today. You're fucking welcome, world. Look at that. A little bit of a fact that. there. But you're a sports guy. You just came from Match of the Day X. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. I love football, though. I'm not oh. massive on, like, loads of other sports, really. Friendly I'll watch the tennis. I do like it. What about the Olympics? Yeah, love the Olympics. Because you, okay. you get into sports that you've never watched before. I get that. Like, imagine if you were just, like, into pole vault all year <gasps> round. But I do. Don't you? And that's the thing with the Olympics. You're, like, just watching it, and then you're, like... This women's quarterfinal pole vault is yeah. the most important thing yeah. to me 100%. in the world. 100%. And I just, I get so invested. It's intense. I feel like of all the people I know, though, you'd be the person that'd be interested in something like pole vault all year round. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I Helen pulled out the gig because of the pole vault. Did you see the um, <laughs> British woman who just the pole vaulting Euros? <laughs> or she'd be watching it on her phone whilst on stage. She wouldn't bat. pull out the gig. She would just be on stage. On, are, you, are you watching this? Are you watching this? <laughs> Anyone got a link for the pole vault final? Because <laughs> it's my thing now. It's what I do. it from... <laughs> I remember when the London 2012 Olympics were happening, I was working in a cafe and a bar on like South Bank, but there was a bus they set up from South Bank to take them to Olympic Village. Mm. So like with so many tourists there. (coughs) We were working the whole time and like we'd be watching the like famous sort of like the like, was it? Who's the really fast man? Mo Farah. Usain? Bolt. Bolt. There we go. Very fast. He's very good with what he does. And um, (laughs) we were watching that final, like, behind the cake. Some people were, like, asking for coffee. And it's like, sha la 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 Oh, my God. At least that final's quick. At least it's over fast. Yeah. Not waiting that long for your cake. I feel really like... Because the London 2012 Olympics, everybody got so into it. I yeah. was away for like the big bits of it. Where were you? I was on holiday in Zante. <gasps> so I can remember watching. I always forget that you're such a basic bitch. Yeah, I'm so. I was so basic. Amazing. Back in the day. I did Zante. Back in the day. So amazing. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> when you were, where were you? Zante 2012. Zante 2012. Garden Zante 2009. Hotel. Oh my god! Um, you got islands, cocktails, and rooms. Uh, no, we went Cherry Bay. White friend, party. Oh, Cherry Bay with a. I've got a picture Love of me zero. on that jet. Um, it's confusing because she's ski outside. Like okay. you, um, Maisie's like stealth basic, but like I no. stealth basic. As in, like it doesn't seem apparent the second you meet you that you're a basic bitch, but you. Really I think are. if you saw me back in the day, her first as well, routine was about dance mats. She's a slave to the sash. How do you remember that? I remember watching Maisie at the So You Think You're Funny finals. I thought weird. she was amazing. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. But I, I, like, back in the day, I used to have, like, very, like, bright blonde hair with very dark roots. Like, yes. almost gold hair, I would say. <gasps> um, but I went to I went to Zante, yeah. and it was, like, a sensational week. But I can remember Incredible. watching... <laughs> I can remember watching that, you know, when they did that thing of like the queen coming out of the helicopter. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Queen. I thought you meant in Zante. I thought yeah. it was actually the queen. I remember like watching it on the telly, but we, <laughs> we'd been we'd been on, you have? Yeah, yeah, we'd been drinking a long time. <laughs> and, um, we all started crying because we thought she'd actually done it. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zante, something happens whenever someone's in Zante now is my theory, because when I was in Zante, Michael Jackson died. Yes. And we were like, out for the whole night and, and then like doing that thing where you slowly go back to the hotel you're all like we're going to stick together right we're going to stick together and then obviously you come back in groups of twos being yeah, like she's yeah. being a fucking slut she's making up <laughs> with the other guy and she knew I fancied him wow. and we'd be coming back in like little twos and threes right Jesus. and then like I was in like one of the first groups to come back and we saw Michael Jackson had died and we were like we're, wow. we've got to be here to tell them like we weren't even Michael Jackson fans we, we were that we level of... stuck as a group in Santa oh, maybe we just had better bonds yeah we always like if you had to go back we'd be like stick as a group but we were walking back and we clocked that my friend Lucy had gone missing yeah there you go and we were walking back to uh, Garden Palace Hotel <laughs> she just emerged out of a bus a uh, bush with a, with a fella <laughs> <laughs> like we would just go down this like little country road and she just emerged out we were like has anyone seen Lucy and just like sort of like she'd picked up on the radar yeah 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 she was like oh I'm here don't worry just with this bloke from Halifax in what? Halifax that's nice <laughs> The place. The place. Yeah. The place. <laughs> yeah, it was Howard from Halifax. <laughs> wow. That guy really made it. Those um, holidays are like, they are of a moment. This is making me, making me think that... Did you never do them? I didn't really have friends at school. The point is... Do you um, want us to take you to, like, Ayanapa or something? I, I really She don't. went to Ibiza I, and she went on the other side. That's not... Island. Yeah, but Ibiza's mm. like... I know. I'd, too, I'd love to take Ibiza. a shagaloof. I'd Ibiza's love to take a shagaloof. Too, yeah, you've got to go to one of the, like, your fingers budget on ones. <laughs> <laughs> don't want shagaloof like, Benidorm, Shagal- Alicante area. Oh, really? That's hell to me. Really? Yeah, I like to be busy on holiday. I don't want... Oh, to... I was busy. I won the best teenage stripper on the bar of Medusa <laughs> and the the, the, hell? the prize was a t-shirt but only came in an extra small which was not my size <laughs> but I imagine most of the other stripping I've teenagers my, were a lot tinier Waikiki <laughs> yeah because you yeah. keep your prizes yeah. but they could barely I'm go over my breast I'm still friends with the girl on the door from Waikiki Wait, she got oh, fired because she was giving us free shots and now she's got a baby it's mad, isn't it? Do you know people still talk about those shots being just antifreeze? A yeah. bit of antifreeze. There was also alcohol in it. Just a bit of antifreeze. Yeah. Oh, then that's fine. It was incredible. Great. Did you go to a white party? Yeah. yeah. God, Jesus party. Christ. We Is didn't a do white fine. party 
please explain what that is quickly. That's why you dress really you just wear white. You, you wear all white, white. Thank you and you sort of like it's like a, like a bit Thank of a walk so down a beach to get there. And um, me so and my friend Kate mad. missed half the party because we we arrived and like the party was raging and there was a woman doing free henna tattoos and we were like we've got to get a henna tattoo Obviously. and it was of a little cocktail glass. We were like we've got to get our henna mm. tattoos, but it took so long. We basically missed the whole party and came back with a <laughs> smudged cocktail glass <laughs> on our wrist. I was going to show you this actually. I was, um, I showed you this on uh, no I. I spoke to you about this on Finland, and I don't think you believed it. Oh my um, god! What but is that it? was from Zanto. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> you got a tattoo want, on your ass. Want, yeah. She did. Same and didn't you have to do a cover up? When yeah. did you get it removed? You got it removed. Mm. Oh, amazing! Oh my god! Amazing Adam has just shown me her, let's be honest, pale in comparison it's to the so burn pale. Line. It's, it's so like, pale. Look at that it's tan like red line. lower back tan line. Are we saying tan, not mm. burn? Okay. No, that's a tan. <laughs> and then she showed me her full ass, no consent, ass for what I'm dealing with another Helen Bauer, it turns out. And it's, I it's, don't think I'm showing you like. Says, don't, don't, don't. She's really comfy. funny about it. Is, it. In what is quite nah, that funny. doesn't count. If I was says... fixing something in your house, that would just naturally come out. Yeah. That's not like. And you would be because you'd be flashing. the butch. Here's the thing. <laughs> The most insulting thing to me about your pale ass with a tattoo on that says Tati is actually the font. What the fuck font is that? I didn't, but they didn't have like a sort of... Like a Comic Sans sort of like, but Comic Sans that means Playboy. Like, no, it's like kind teenager of... does calligraphy. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? You had to get that, you paid to get that removed as well, didn't you? Oh How much God. is the removal? I mean, about five pounds for the tattoo probably, lot. but... Did it hurt hmm? a lot? Like, did it hurt like a bitch to get it removed? <laughs> oh, is there a... Is there, is there, <laughs> <laughs> is there like a smidge of it left? Like when you try to get a stamp off from a club, is there no, a It's more like a sort of like a sort of scarring, but <gasps> in yeah. the sort of shape of the word totty. <laughs> Wait, so you just changed it out from yeah. it? Oh my God. Yeah. From, yeah. Oh yeah. God. I don't wow. know why that's made me really happy. It's made me <laughs> deep. I just did not know you've got Totty on your ass at any point. Your respect. Which... What respect? Wow. <laughs> what respect? Well. I remember this era though when it was like if you don't get to on holiday, it's like you haven't been. It was like the original fridge magnet. Yeah. Like a lot of like my friends, and um, this was like we were. Well, like, that's it. We all got equally bad. I one. never did what it. Did friends get well. Um. So my friend Dan. It, like you know when you just have this like private joke that keeps going on like yeah. a holiday so we were all just coming out of sixth form and at sixth form there used to be these posters around the corridors for like anti-bullying yeah that said laugh along with a bully and you are a bully yeah and so oh, whenever like clever. somebody was getting picked on in the group we'd be like hey laugh along with a bully and you are a bully and it just became this thing of the holiday okay so Wait, he you guys tried bullied to get each it. other about the just like a bit of friends banter. bully each and other then, um, Dan tried to get laugh along with a bully and you are a bully on his tattoo, but he couldn't pay. You have to pay per letter. <laughs> so he just got the initials. So he got on his arm, lower by arm. <laughs> Because it'll be funny forever. It'll be funny forever. So actually, Totti's not bad. No, not you dodged right. a bullet. He had to get his removed as well. Lower by arm. Yeah. He now has a really serious job as well. You can't be going around with lower by arm. No. Arm. Unless you come up with a, like, it's the initials of people in my life who That's have it. died. Well, like, like, you get have home to lie. People would be like, oh, what's that tattoo? And he'd have to explain it's oh, laugh it, along with a bully and you are a bully. Because it does, it, like, <laughs> if it were the initials of people, then it would seem like you're a killer. Like, you wouldn't have that many people dead in your life unless yeah. you were doing it. A body right. count. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There was That's a brief crazy. period. Um, was it like last year or year before? The listeners might remember. You remember when Sunil was really keen on just commissioning pieces of art, oh, God, of just when he got those yeah, like yeah. the the bulldog smoking a, a yeah. doobie yeah. on a surfboard up on its hind legs with a massive dong. Who's he going and, um, to do this? My friends mainly. Yeah. Um, and then uh, an alien going up into space with a little speech bubble saying "Toke me to your leader" with a doobie, obviously, <laughs> like all just it's fun so stuff. Sweet. Nope. <laughs> We just thought it was really funny, and it is. And then there was like a moment when that could have become a tattoo conversation, yeah. but we managed oh, to no. both no, like no, rein no. it in. But wouldn't that be great? Like a full vista on your back of a little oh. alien. Do either oh, of you have like a hairless enough back for that to be possible? No, we, we we'd both we could razor each other. <laughs> we could razor each other for a good hour before going in. Then you'd have to leave it for a bit because of the razor burn right. and the bumps. Uh, yeah, not going veet. Oh, I couldn't veep my whole back, my love. Oh. The smell. <laughs> if I veep my legs, oh, then yeah. the, the kid has to veep my dad's back. It smells. Veep smells so bad. For, like, huh? Just for holiday. I just said holly bobs. I've never thought before in my life. Yeah, but wow, I that's it. quite off brand. I, 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 I think I got caught up in all the straight girl business of it all. Live and you bobs, went to say holly bobs. <laughs> Sorry, I would never say holly bobs. If you say so, Totty. Um, my darling, oh. here's my question. All of this leads me to ask the inevitable question, which is... Straight girl culture is not good, is it? I know, it's horrible, but it does, it does kind of bring me to something, which is what 
Maisie's on the precipice of, you're going to be getting married soon. Oh, yeah. Is there a basic bitch hen do in the works? Uh, yeah, but I'm not. In, I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Okay, but can I guess based on? Can we guess based on everything we know about me? Yeah. Okay, and then I'll tell you after I've been on it if it happens. Great. So it obviously should. Five be. Five aside. Yeah. So I. I, I <laughs> no, none of my mates like football. Not even your uh-huh. football mates. So what I was gonna say is, I think it should obviously be like if I were planning Maisie's hand. Okay. It would be yeah. one last check to be sure if she's gay. So it would obviously yes, morning footy. Really. Then a drag brunch then some sort of like maybe like a queer bingo and then a lesbian night so end. bad I that's, that's not how so i do bad. And then no oh, not bad for the reasons that you're that i'm saying that's just not Maisie at all hi mike we love you mike i take Maisie <laughs> to a really fun like beach area in like south france like, yes. paragliding like really fun like banana boat like oh. really go into the cheese of, of the, the noughties yeah, arcade it but... up like grab machines get cuddly toys she'd want to drink like, like a woo-woo. proper night yeah. out yeah, yeah. pitches 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 fish bowls fish Blue bowls Lagoon. fish bowls Blue Lagoon. Oh my god, I was cheeky V, but everyone's different. Blue Lagoon. Um, okay, you're not. Loads gay. of wow. straws everywhere, like proper what? club bangers, no techno, lyric, lyric, lyric. Yeah. Like real yeah, yeah. fun. It feels important and respectful. And to then say probably that a fry like up the next Beyonce. day about eleven <laughs> with people slowly arriving randomly with different bruises on their neck from hickeys and amazing going, Oi! Oh my god, yeah. 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 That oh. that right there is the dream. Do you know why? This is why we should stick to our own. Straights with the straights and the queers with the queers. And I'm sick of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> that feels I, like, just, feels like just, for the record the I'm not of like 20 that. episodes we've got to that point I, I feel like at this juncture I've said on record so many times that I think Maisie's gay that I should say hey Mike I think you're a really nice boy and I he's don't not listening to this he hates your gut what? <laughs> But he loves little Helen. Loves little Helen. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He loves all my straight no. friends. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> yeah. I like him. Can you tell Helen, please, and indeed all of our listeners, Helen. if you don't mind, can you? No, because Maisie already told me this in Finland because we bonded because we um we were like doing cross cultural exchanges. I was telling her about eating women out. She was telling me about being proposed to by a man. Can you please tell? Um, I was. Can you tell Helen about how he proposed? Because I love his. You know this. I know the story. You know the story. What? She's the story. seen like every bit of my stand up. I'm a big Maisie Adam fan. Wait, the story you told me was material. You do? Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is not going well, Maisie. I'm not going to lie. Wow. This is not. Oh I thought we were bonding. I know, and I'm like, She's I should. The middle should've... distance thing. Again. I thought we were bonding, and you were just. Well, you. To be fair, Cover, you just asked, "How did he propose?" I thought you'd tell me like an honest. Well, it is like... honest. It is true. You worked it up for your show. No, Rusty it's Hugs, true. once it's again, true. proving that women cannot work together in more than groups of two. Wow. <laughs> or even groups of shall two, we do, I Shall we do a listener problem and transfer all of our anger with each other at the best. moment onto Agreed. someone else? Wait, wait, before we do it, let's, okay. let's, be the, let's do our very first compliment circle with a guest in. We've done what? we've done ones with guests before. We haven't. Oh, when we feel angry with each other, we do a compliment circle where we all give each other compliments. I know you're too British to like this, but honestly, you brought out a side of like resentment in me that I think we need to remedy. I it's love not my fault. Why, okay. Maisie? Let's fix the situation, please. I, Maisie, you are. I don't like this. So funny. Oh. So funny and just such a joy to be around. Like I know I'm always just going to be laughing my head off, just enjoying myself, and I just it, I find it so fun. Um, Catherine. What can I say? You are a dream. You answer the phone. You'll listen to any fucking shit I say with compassion and love. And I appreciate you. Okay, and now Catherine does one for each of us and you do one for each of us. You're fine. You don't want to go home. You want to stay. So funny how British people react to this. They really panic if they're not Helen. Um, (laughs) I like being complimented sometimes. (laughs) Maisie, I'm into your hair. It does it for me. I like it. You're lying. I don't, you give two. Don't fight back. Oh no, I actually am into it. Take it on. But exactly. I thought that was the point. Look at her and say I thank you. I love it. Don't look at me. Look at her. Thank you. And your hair and makeup looks lovely today. Thank you. You're a very funny girl. Helen, I remain incredibly in awe of your rack. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me and Helen um, 
Well, no, me and Stephen Bailey put our heads in Helen's bra oh, yeah. when we were in God, Finland. Isn't it so, it's yeah. like, you know, like those um, airplane helmets? France. No, in France, yeah. in France. It's like, you know, those old school airplane like, yeah, pilot incredible. helmets? Yeah, it was Yeah, it was amazing. amazing. Yeah. I think yeah. I might have, if I've got a picture I of it, we'll pop re- it on the oh, Trusty Hogs it. Instagram. Can you send it to me and we'll put it on the Instagram? It is. It was so far, amazing. So far, you haven't actually done a compliment, though. You've no, just told us a lot. That's interesting. I'm going to find you But I mean, the listeners know what my bra looks like, so I think I've put it on a guest's head before. You've put on mine you're welcome i don't think Maisie's gonna give us our incredible oh my God, both fit it at the same time yeah. yeah send that to me it is you absolutely like delightful it's <laughs> amazing and we were at a party that night you know and i had to put it back on with like an umbrella that you yeah. got stick on your own hat it was amazing <laughs> you could, that's the kind of marquee you could have a wedding in so warm i'm wearing the black there version well. of that one right now like yeah heat, well, it was heat. warm yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's very warm it was straight off also like it came uninvited we were like oh do you reckon we could put our head in and before we like even finished that sentence yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> like she had three layers on. Compliment us, Maisie. Oh, I really thought I'd go away with children. No. You can do you can do whoever you want first, whatever feels more comfortable. Um Don't think about it too long because it does hurt our feelings. Alright. Uh, you're you um you were uh, Say my name. Helen. Yeah. I thought it was really nice that you came out to France and um even though you didn't go skiing, Thank you. you still brought a lot to the group dynamic. Thank a lot of what? Charm. Charm? Yes. Pizzazz. I, I, I charmed them. <laughs> I charmed yeah. the group. Hi, Jane. Uh, Catherine. Yes, Maisie. Uh, uh, you you were great fun to watch the World Cup with, actually. Thanks. You were great fun to actually. watch the World Cup. Well, yeah. Sounds like I, you thought it. It. Okay, I thought she'd hate it. I'll take it. I thought she'd hate it. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. I thought she'd hate it. And we went to an Irish bar, which I think you really appreciated. Um, <laughs> and uh, she fears at home. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit Just of fun. Just read the problem. Andrew. Okay, no right. You know what? We tried our best. There's no way that's allowed. It's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you're officially my favourite. Oh. Okay, off you go, Andrew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you want to do an accent, Maisie? <laughs> Maisie looks sad. Maisie not the sad. Maisie not sad. Do that. <laughs> it's appalling. It's she does it every, every time. Every episode, yeah. Every time. Okay, uh, so this is perhaps relevant with an upcoming, <laughs> we- upcoming wedding. Uh, oh, a wedding problem! Wedding Yay! Wedding. You love weddings. Why is our the guest men. crying the again? <laughs> Why are you no cry? To men. Well, I'm not like a <laughs> wedding sort of, to men. I'm not Elizabeth Taylor. This is my first time. <laughs> I, <laughs> I've married nobody before. Well done. All right, I don't know what you get up to, to brag. in the bar or wherever. Santa, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Big girls weekend in Zanzibar, was it? <laughs> you know that classic end of college trip to Zanzibar? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, let's going down the strip. Zanzi, Zanzi, Zanzi fucking bar! <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know anything about your culture. Oh. Okay, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is from H. Hi, H. Hi, H. Uh, Hi, H. This is probably entitled Bridesmaid Snub. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm okay. into it already. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might have first hand experience to unload here. Oh my Ooh. god, okay, okay. Here we go. So H says, I am twenty eight and appear to be at a stage in my life where everyone around me is getting married. Sorry. Uh, I feel very fortunate that I have lots of close friends who've invited me to their special days, uh, but there is one that has stuck with me. Uh, I don't want to be a nightmare friend in this situation or make the day about me, but my best friend through uni, whom I lived with on and off for eight years and still see regularly. Um, and often refers to me as the most supportive friend, has not asked me to be her bridesmaid. Good! Why would you want to be? Helen, it's so much more Helen, fun as a Helen, guest. Helen, Sorry, go on. We don't I know, we listened to the, to the whole problem. Uh, and actually asked three of her other friends to be in front of me oh. while I stood there awkwardly. Oh, <laughs> oh no, okay, that's fair. Okay, that's oh, I was so quite fun. impartial oh, up until I that was point. Like, why would anybody... What the fuck? I helped her get ready for her first date with her fiancé and was there for the debrief afterwards. When she got engaged, I was one of the first people she told. I feel like I'm one of her closest friends, but she oh didn't God, even rough. think of me for some reason. <gasps> Um, I feel ridiculous getting upset about this because I know it's her and her fiancé's day, but I'm finding it hard to stop feeling upset and wonder what I've done wrong um, that she wouldn't think of me for this situation. Um, Also, it's awkward because all of our friends are assuming that I'm upset, so I have to keep responding graciously, and that is also difficult. Mm. Um, uh, A close friend who I hadn't even thought I'd be a bridesmaid for got married last year and didn't ask me, but called me up unprompted to say that she loved me and had thought about me, which was such a small but kind gesture and really threw into perspective 
the a snub from my close friend. So, trusty hogs, how do I respond to the questions about not being a bridesmaid? And how do I get rid of this resentment so I can just be happy for her and love her? Love. Oh, wow. Can I ask like... something before we go into this? Mm -hmm. Can we put this one in the patron? Because I've got like a really good example, but I'd probably use names. Well, what if she's not a patron and then she can't hear the answer? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Universe. We'll talk about it later. Code name, maybe. Okay, code names. I think this is a universal problem as well that we should talk about because what I was thinking, I don't know if anybody else was, I was waiting for her to say, like, she just asked her sister. Yeah. Or How many bridesmaids did she have? Three friends. Three, friends. Yeah, three in front of her. Yeah, yeah. that, oh, that in, in front, front of her is that's sad. the dollar in it. Where the line is, because before that, that all I could think was like, Why would you know you what? Be a bridesmaid? Being a bridesmaid, obviously you want to be there for your mate and show up for them, but it, it's it. You can have so much fun. You can be number one. You can still go and support your mate and show loads of love, but obviously. You know what? I don't know what I'm saying. No, but it's it's. So it's I, I don't no, absolutely right. want to be a bride. None of the admin. Yeah, yeah. You you still get to go to the wedding. You get to celebrate their love, but you don't have to do. We're all having a panic, shit. aren't we? Right? Which is that like I have I've only been bridesmaid once and adored it. Okay. Because it was for somebody who is family, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, and so that's fine. But if most people asked me to be a bridesmaid, I'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake. Do you also not feel like you'd have a gauge on? On as this person thought she did, yeah. of like who would ask you and yeah. who wouldn't. Oh uh, yeah. So I think like I've, I've got, got four, and I think the four I've asked, yeah, always expected it. I think yeah. there's yeah. one person who thought there would be, and they're not. But that's. Did you ask all the other four in front of her? No, exactly. Yeah. Um, I didn't even do that courtesy call thing, but I think I, I wouldn't be able to do that without feeling like I'm sort of going. No, it's, the courtesy not call is very houses, nice, but it's very sort of specific. Five. Yeah. But I think. Um, I think the person I was I've only been a bridesmaid once and it was for this person who I've not asked to be my bridesmaid. Yeah. But get this, we're friends. We were very good friends at sixth form. Yeah. We are friends now. That's like, the thing. I see her you occasionally when I go back up north. Yeah. Like but... we wouldn't even like we don't really text. Yeah. No. But back in sixth form, we were like, oh, one day we'll be each other's bridesmaids. Yeah. I didn't think that was actually a thing we'd stick to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Binding, yeah. And now like I'm I'm not being funny, but there's several people in the queue before. Yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. your like your world changes around you. Me and my cousin promised when we got married that the one who wasn't getting married would sing "I Dreamed a Dream" wailing through the reception, and she got married and she vetoed it. Yeah, she was like, "Absolutely not, you're not doing it." Wow. Okay. Um, so I had to be MC and a bridesmaid. Oh. Thank you so much for asking me. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> In general, I'll put it out there. I don't think I'm asking a bridesmaid in general, mainly because of how I look in a flower crown. Um, well, this is also it. Like, unless you go right, like, sort of different, humble brag, which I am, like, the idea of being a bridesmaid can be so horrific with the matching dresses of, like, a, being forced to wear a colour that you're not keen on, mm -hmm. being forced to organise something that you don't really have the time to organise. Yeah. Like, I've spent most of my time saying to my bridesmaids, like, honestly, don't worry about it. Sorry if this is, like, too yeah. much. Sorry, like, hope it's not too bad. Like, I've since being kicked out of the WhatsApp group, I'm just going, is the WhatsApp group okay? Sorry if it's really annoying. I'm torn by Dream. two different things. It, like, on the one hand, I'm like, the two times I've been asked to be bridesmaid now have meant so much to me. And so but, Georgie, obviously. Yeah, and my brother's fiance has just asked me. See, to I love that. I wasn't expecting it at all, and is gorgeous. That's lovely. But in neither situation, even though it's about to be my sister-in-law and my best friend, neither situation did I expect to be asked. Mm. As in, like, I wouldn't assume it, and there are very few people I'd actually want to do it for. So I'm, I guess I don't necessarily, like, I don't come from the same position as this person does. So I want to have empathy. Part of me wants to be like, yeah, you know, you don't get to expect to be, like, a certain role in anybody's wedding. It's their day. Yeah. But another part of me hears this and is like, obviously, hate that sounds incredibly, actually quite hurtful and sounds like the in front of you thing is Oh, horrible. that's the worst bit. And it's not get over not that is that. And, and in my head, I'd be like, well, maybe the relationship has changed a bit. But if everyone else around you is going, yeah. I really thought you would be, then it seems like that's not the case. In which case, I'm sorry, but if it's like, if it's more than two months out from the wedding, I'd maybe just say, I, I'm not asking to be obviously that would be insane i i'm i don't want this to be a thing i want us to move forward but i just 
it, this hurt my feelings and I wondered if you could would explain you? it to me. No! I'd ask them no, anything I could do to help. I'd go all British, I couldn't do that. I'd be like, is there anything I, I can do, do to that. help? I'm 100% there for you. I'd say practical solutions. Find out the colour of the bridesmaids' dresses and buy one and just show no. up. Oh my God. Like, no. There's other things you can do no, no. here. Like, no, you know, that's the healthy choice. Really? Like what Catherine so I'd said. hijack it, maybe do a wedding dance down the aisle, like get a remix on the music for the walking down the aisle. There's ways no. to do it. I went to my friend's <laughs> wedding in Ireland last year. I wore green at the bridesmaids' did. It was an accident, but, you know, I got a lot of attention for it. No, no. Can I say, here's my... Other options. Uh, can I, say, I okay. my yeah, yeah, go on. And then we'll go to the bride-to-be. I think that you could ask her... Tell her that it hurt your feelings and say you want it clear there because it's, like people are asking you about it and also like you are a bit confused. But if you do that, H, you have to be prepared for That's it. hearing something that you might not want to hear. Yeah. Is to say like maybe she will say, "I don't think of us as that close anymore." Oh God. Which would be like. So this I don't know. Stressful. Like, You're right though. I think that's the healthiest thing to do. But I would just hate, d- like, so if this person that I've not asked came up to me and said, "Just so you know, it's made me feel upset. <gasps> yeah. oh, I'd feel awful. Yeah. yeah. Still wouldn't ask her, but I'd feel. Yeah, awful. yeah, yeah. No, no, and and she and I and that's not what H. I don't think H would now want like a pity. Yeah? No, not no. at all. But like, I think I would be like, if I felt like it was going to bother me. But and also maybe the thing that I'll say is like. I think it's most likely what they will say is, of all my friends, you are the one who I knew would still help and be kind about it. Yeah. Because you're my most supportive friend. That's a good point. And that actually, I had to put, I had to have a limited to number of people, of people, and these people would have been horrible about it, which is so unfair, by the way. You shouldn't be punished for being the kindest. But no. like, that's chance. when it's like you can be too nice, isn't it? Yeah. But like, these things do happen, and you're still. At the wedding, you're still supporting your friend. Obviously, like the fact that she asked in front of you is mad. It really is. Like Sorry, that's just so yeah, that's really inappropriate. Bad. Like even if there was no chance of you, it's still a bit awkward. It's like a private moment that you're there at. Like do you know what I mean? Like yeah. being there when someone tells their partner they're pregnant. It's like no, I don't want to be here for this. Yeah. But yeah, like yeah. also, it's just abhorrent the fact that bridesmaids we still do have to in some ways rank our friends and family. Yeah. Like, that is kind Not of like what it is. My space, have you? Even yeah. though I'll tell you this: the tradition of bridesmaids yeah. is fucking mental. The only reason they had bridesmaids is because they thought the devil was trying to get the bride so they'd dress all the women up the same so they'd get one of the bridesmaids what? so if anything Shut you want to pick bad people for bridesmaids because they're a sacrificial lamb and I know that because I researched it wow thank you very much I would say though that's for traditional bridesmaids personally I think the other the other way to go the less healthy way to go but maybe like quite a useful way to go is like really tot up objectively if you can how many things are bad about being a bridesmaid <sighs> Oh my god! Like I said this one before, but my uh, one of my cousins when she was getting married, she wanted me and another one of my cousins, and we're both like obese, like blonde women with big curly hair. She wanted to send her big blondes down the aisle before she arrived at the end in her slinky little number with her brown hair. <laughs> and she was like, "So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the big blondes permit, and then put a big flower around their neck, very Muriel's wedding style, and have us plod down like boom, 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 and then she'd arrive at the end just for a reveal." And I was like, "I'm not being used as a big blonde, yeah, not in that." Yeah. Yeah. But I would have done it because it would have been fucking immense. Um, what do you think she should do, Maisie? <laughs> I, your suggestion feels healthy. Same clothes, same dress. You're thinking my one. No, okay, absolutely right. no, not. No. Absolutely not. You couldn't do that at mine because I'm not making them all wear the same thing. What about wear white? Uh, yeah, wear Fuck white. you, bitch. Wear white. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. What about that? Right, here's what she should do. <laughs> she should do your bit of taking her aside and going, just, you know, this hurt my feelings. Mm. She'll then probably tell you something that makes you feel so pissed off. The only solution to that is wearing white to her wedding. Yes. Lovely. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, yes. you can turn up at the wedding and go, I just didn't want to wear anything that made me look like a bridesmaid. <gasps> yeah! Right. And then just say, I'm sorry, That's I thought the theme so was the white party and Santi, just memories, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, fucking No, it, it's nice. just a good line to be like, I did, just definitely didn't want to look like, be mistaken yes. for a bride. I know you wouldn't want me to be You wouldn't want me to look bride. like a bridesmaid. <gasps> Do it. No, that's the one. That's the one. That is the line. Do it. Oh, I just really... Problem solved and you're fucking welcome, H. How about that? You're bloody welcome. But also, H, in real terms... She's got like at law of averages. They're getting married at what twenty eight. There'll be another wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh. Maisie's I mean? right there. Do right there. Not you. Right there. Not you and Mike will be. Perfect. I'm twenty eight and I'm getting married, Catherine. Yeah. I'm right here. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't no, like it. Mike's a perfect.
perfect man. Nothing's going to happen. That would be on you if it did. He's this lovely. This whole week was full He's of this shit. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Away, okay, yeah. away with Catherine Bowman. I know, darling. It's just, it's just, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. It won't last. You're gay, you're gay. Just kidding. I love him. <laughs> Fuck off. Amazing. I've been questioning Fuck. my sexuality oh. on stage. I was doing a work in progress the other day. I said I'm straight. Half the crowd laughed because they've listened to this podcast so much. And then I had, I spent about five minutes going, look, right. I know we got. I, I'm straight, and I, I don't know how to prove it to you, but I am. And I, I feel like I was losing my mind. Also, I feel like it's so frustrating <laughs> when you have to. You know when you. This is gonna sound so bad. You know when you hear your lot go, gay doesn't have a look, or bisexual doesn't have a look. <laughs> Maybe straight doesn't have a look, Catherine. It does though, darling. <laughs> it does. Look at us. I'm in a football shirt. I know. We're both wearing black and white tops. Like, come on. I'm in a shirt we're, that's celebrating I wear a goal gold of the women's every Euros. Day too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't help the case, do I? Is this going to be culturally appropriative? Uh, People are going to assume you belong. Oh, I've turned up in a T-shirt that's celebrating a goal from the Women's Euros and Doc Martens. You I'm know not what? helping. Be respectful yeah, of our culture. We're going to go slug and lettuce and you're all welcome there. Yeah, we're going to go slug and lettuce and suck loads of men off. <laughs> yeah. And then TGI Fridays for the song and the cake. TGI Fridays is not just for you. Is it? Is it not? You can have slug and lettuce, but TJ Fridays is the gayest. They wear fucking um, braces. Blair. Would you give over? Oh, yeah, it's quite gay. There. They collect badges. Come on. Yeah. That's the um, thank you for maybe coming like a on, Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> yeah, you can have Frankie and Benny's already. Right. Any of those ones that are like in an airport that are quite shit and sad. Oh, yeah, you okay. can have. Oh, giraffe. I like them. You can have like giraffe. Giraffe. Chiquitos. Yes. <laughs> yes. We get chiquitos. Should we just say thank you so much it's to Maisie? Maisie, Adam, everybody! Yay. That was close. It was so close. <laughs> Maisie, <laughs> if you're a Hogs fan, where do they follow you? Where do they follow you? Instagram, you're who? Maisie Adam. And Twitter, you're? Maisie Adam. TikTok? <laughs> Hot totty on your ass. Yeah. yeah. I'm not on TikTok. Me neither. No, no. Oh. We should start one together. We'll call it Helen and Maisie's. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maisie Adam, everybody. Anything that you people can come see you at? Are you doing Edinburgh? Are you doing a show? Are you on tour? No. Are you doing work in progress shows? Mate, I'm like, I've got one tour death late. Uh, one, oh my God, I've lost. Who <laughs> smell toast? <laughs> <laughs> one tour one date tour de- left. One tour date left. <laughs> there you go. Me. You got there. And it's a good job because it sounds yeah. like you're all mm-hmm. tuckered out. And um, we'll get and you back I'm, another time. And then I'm going time. to Australia and getting married. I'm not, I'm not writing any new stuff you're for ages. You're doing Melbourne, aren't you? Yeah. That's nice, though, because the wedding will sort of write itself. Not because it'll be fun, you know. But because... Do you like hear yourself sometimes? <laughs> Me and Catherine are like, if we're talking about work or no, like comedy, it's, it's grand. Real. The moment it gets yeah. into personal lives, no, I, just, I know. I just make see what I mean by that. You should hear it with me. It's Have like this I really toxic no, auntie. Like, just, Helen, are you dating? You dating? You dating? You dating? No, I'm not dating. I'm not dating. How much does it say that I would rather talk to Helen Bauer about my personal life than you? That's a kind. All I was saying was that you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't, everything. You shouldn't write new material. I'm going for a sip. A wedding but... will be nice to write about. That like that will have comedy in it. Sure. Maisie, I'm listen every... to yourself. Yeah, no, sorry, Helen. <laughs> Women shouldn't work together. Oh, Catherine, we've got to say our thank yous. Please. We are so fucking constantly in awe and grateful of our amazing executive producers and producers and to all of you that sign up on Patreon but as always we just want to give a shout out to the amazing uh, producer team we'll start with the execs okay here we go exec sounds like sex coincidence it is a coincidence we don't we're not no 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 thank you to Guy Goodman Simon Moores Mary Fox Annie Tonner Sarah Harkey Deakin and Oliver Jago to our incredible producers you guys are we've got some new ones like welcome to the sty like welcome welcome roll around but as always, the the inevitably amazing crew of Richard Bicknell, L, Richard Bold, Neil Redman, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah and Molly, Re- Raya Fink? Raya Fink. We've done this one before. Cordelia, Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Emily G, Amy O'Riordan, Abby Wharf, Key Webb, Matt Sims, Luke Bright, and Leah. So many new guys. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And if you're not already on Patreon,
Patreon, you get an extra episode. Of Sign up because I just spent four fifty. And and no. we sell a lot of secrets on there. A Don't. lot of secrets. I so please still do. Still have to message Andrew every now and again, being like, "So give me the list of names of people who have signed up for patrons, just in case." And, like, and I used to be like, "So it, I know it's for patrons, but could we possibly like take out a name or two? Yeah, yeah, like because like, the patrons, no, it's just, it I, really gets a bit too loose. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much. We honestly, honestly couldn't make the podcast without you. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Bye.